jumping on. This is Create Better Health Snap Ed program, and it's the My Plate Create lesson for youth. So, thank you for joining me. I'm ready and comfy to have a lesson on protein. <laughs> We're going to first do our recipe, and our recipe today is a chocolate tofu shake. I know, something different but you're gonna like it, I almost guarantee it. <laughs> Do you like the almost part? Because sometimes kids just don't like things. And some adults too, just for, the, for that matter. Um, today, I've got all this I had of me, in front of me so that you can see how it's made. It's really easy. And if you don't have a blender like I do and you have a different kind, that's okay. It all works, right? So if you don't know how to use the blender or your particular blender, ask your uh, parent or supervisor, adult supervision person, whoever is in charge, to help you out with it. And I'm sure they will show you how to do it. And if not, I've got one that's a little different than most probably of you have. But if you have the same kind as me, then um, that will be great. So we're going to need a cup of milk and you're going to put it on a level surface like this and then pour your milk in to the line that says one cup, okay? And then we're going to put that in our blender, just like that. Can you guys see the blender? Let's see. Get that out front so we can see it. Okay, and then we're going to do um, two tablespoons of peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter. No peanut butter would be all right. If you don't like peanut butter or you can't use any of the other ones. That's the bad thing about this is that it gets on the little spindle there. All right, if you have one like this, push your stuff down into the milk so that it won't hug the, the bottom. Okay, and then one teaspoon of honey or sugar substitute that you like. That'll be great. Just a teaspoon-ish. Okay. Then we're gonna do two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And you could make this a different flavor if you wanted, just with bananas or with another fruit instead of hot co instead of cocoa powder. Okay, and then you're gonna want that leveled off. And you can use your spoon or your a, like a dowel or the uh, flat edge of a knife. That would work out really good. Okay, then we're going to do a half a cup of tofu. And I wanted you to see the tofu package. It looks like that. And when you open it up, it's a big square like this. And it looks a lot like custard that's been set up. And what's happened is they've taken the soybean and they've pressed it and pressed it and pressed it. And then they uh, manufacture the tofu. And you can get silken, uh, like a smooth um, tofu, which I'm using today, or a thicker, firmer one um, for like skillet meals or soup, stuff like that. And, and tofu takes up the flavor of whatever you're putting it in. And we'll go through that a little bit when we're talking about protein. Okay. All right, then you get all of that in there and we'll put our top on. Get that snapped on. Okay, we got our cup. that goes on here 
And it's got a little spot right here that you have to line up with the lid. So kind of work that and pulse it just like this. A little tap here and there. When you get that mixed up, we're gonna get our frozen banana. It doesn't have to be frozen, but I like things that are kind of like ice cream. So I'm gonna put a whole small banana in there. Woo! And we're gonna put the lid back on. Line your thing up and then pulse it in. Take that off. Get your top in the sink with sudsy water, remember? And then go ahead and put your finger on that blade and pour your shake right in there. Look at that. Make sure you take your blade and out of that container so that it doesn't, you don't cut yourself when you go to reach into your sink. It's just a little safety thing. The tofu is made from a soybean and um, it's made into a curd, they call it. And it's naturally gluten free <clears throat> and it's low in calories. It contains no cholesterol and it's an excellent source of iron and calcium and is an important source of protein, which is what we're talking about today. Tofu can be served instead of meat, like I said before, and tofu takes up the flavor of what you put in it. So if you put chocolate or bananas or if you put chicken broth or vegetables with it, it will take those flavors up. To tofu comes in several different consistencies, like I had talked to you about, extra firm, firm and soft. Okay? So how many ounces do you think that your age might need just for a, a regular active um let's say seven year old to 14. well at myplate.gov it will tell you what you would be eating at your age and activity level and so go there and kind of look around in there and under lifespans it will say um youth and then you would click on that and then it will give you all the different ages and if you're active or not active and then it will tell you but the general amount is five ounces okay and if you were to look at a deck of cards you would know that that would be about three ounces so you need about a decade and a half of, of, of protein. So I would say the size of this or this, okay? And that's about three ounces. And um, so fish is in the protein food group, chicken, beef, eggs, cheese, um, and then like a bean soup, I have that from um, yesterday's video. And then you could also do like a barbecue chicken or a hamburger. And those all are in the food group too. Some other, another item that's in this food group are nuts, okay, and seeds those are in there as well. So beans, nuts and seeds, beef, chicken, fish, cheese, eggs, okay? And they all count towards it. So you would have one egg for, you know, one serving or one ounce, one slice of cheese, which is one ounce. So all of the for um, the protein food group. Okay, so when we sit down to eat dinner, do we eat one piece of chicken or just the hamburger meat all by itself? Maybe both. Maybe sometimes you just have a hamburger patty um, all by itself. But most times we eat protein foods in combination with other foods, right? So like many of us, we, we eat 
combination foods like tacos, soup, okay, that meals that contain more than one food group. And it's really good because then you get all the different colors on my plate, um, on your plate, and that's a good thing. So if we're going to eat a hamburger, chili, or a chicken stir fry for dinner, each contains several foods from different food groups, like we talked about. And these are, like I said, combination foods. And the protein food, like in chili, there's beans and meat and tomatoes and onions and um, sometimes green peppers or a chili, a, a, like a chili pepper. Those sometimes will be in there. Um, some people put grains in their chili and that is great. Or we have grains with it, like cornbread or crackers to go along with it. Or maybe even a slice of whole wheat bread. That would be yummy too. Or maybe we could sprinkle some cheese on top of our chili or add a glass of milk because you might need it, especially if you like your chili hot, right? So for example, we have a taco, right? We have some lettuce and we have some tomatoes and we have some cheese and we also have some meat in there. See the meat? So that would be considered a combination food, okay? So that means we have lettuce, tomatoes, protein, and then the shell is a grain, right? And then we have um, some meat, and then we could say that the cheese was part of the dairy, or we could have some milk. So that would be really, really yummy. And I like tacos. You guys like tacos? All right, and then let's talk just a teeny bit about exercise. I just want to remind you to get out there and move. The weather is really good right now. And it is a part of my plate, even though we don't see it right here um, as being like exercise, which we probably should. Um, but it makes our body strong and it makes helps us to function um, better. Speaking of protein and exercising, if this was our muscles, you would see that the protein would help to build those muscles up. And then the muscle would be exercised by doing exercise. And then it would get stronger and um, healthier. And some of the things that you could do would be like biking or running or walking dancing, swimming might be coming up um, here pretty soon. Unless you live in a warmer climate, you're probably already doing that. And these are all good ways to, to do this, to exercise our muscles and keep them strong and healthy. And to keep our heart nice and healthy, that's really important. And we do that by doing dancing and, and running. Those are really good cardios to do like aerobic um, cardio exercises. And the youth, you need to be doing this 60 minutes a day, one hour, and it doesn't need to be all at once. It could be a half hour here, 15 minutes here, and then it eventually adds up. And that should be five days a week. So five ounces of protein, five days a week for one hour, right? That'd be easy to, to remember. All right, I hope that you try this recipe and enjoy it and see that tofu is pretty cool and it doesn't even taste like anything. It tastes like chocolate. Um, and have fun exercising in this wonderful weather that we are having and I'll see you next Friday. This is Larry Bates from my home to yours. Bye now.